This master suite is going to feel like a boudoir. Retro, old school glamour. I love it. Ha! Fab. Oh my God. We're gonna show you how to create a parent's retreat in an average sized home. She's gonna have loads of color, lots of personality, and a little bit of bling. So this house, like most older homes, it doesn't have a master suite. So we wanted to really create this kind of escape in this little home. And we're gonna knock out a wall between the dining room and the sunroom. We're going to extend that into an ensuite and add a private deck. Might be small, but it's still private and beautiful. So we've walked into the bedroom. We'll have bed there with some beautiful featured, I might do panelling or something on that wall. Yeah, nice. And then, here, another set of um, French doors that go out to a little deck for your master. And we'll do all greenery and greenery to try to take away the fact that there's the ugliest red brick you've ever seen in your life. That there? Yeah. I want this space to be really beautifully relaxing. Being able to look onto your own private deck is just going to be amazing. And instead of like cabinetry throughout this area, yeah. you know, like sweeping kind of, you know, blush linen curtains oh, that open up. Sure that curtain. Curtain. Yeah, I was like, what is this? I love it. Mm? Yeah. Mm? Yeah. Mm? Yeah. Great. Yeah. Mm? yeah. We've never done a walk-in robe like this. The wardrobe in that space now is probably double what you'd find in a bedroom of that size, which I think is brilliant for that property. So ensuite. The big glass, and how is this private again? I keep coming back to the fact I can see the neighbours. And I've designed this huge window, so when you're standing in the shower, you're looking out onto this private deck. I'm sure the girls are going to have a heart attack about it. I think this is an intervention. Mm, what about? For me, clear glass. No, no, oh. this is an intervention on Bonnie about oh. the clear glass. Coming from Bonnie's, I think it's a little bit different for Bon to realise she's now designing another house that isn't her own. So Erin and I will probably have a bit more to say because we just want to say, Bonnie, I don't know if someone else would want that in their home. Can we go for a hell yeah on some decorative glass here? No. I think what we will do is do this tile all what? the way around, but a pink border. Okay. All right, well, we'll see it when it's done. <laughs> I think this renovation is different because we've just got so much experience under our belt now. I feel like I kind of know what I'm doing now. Mm. Ha! Oh my God! That is so ridiculously crooked, like unbelievably crooked. Nah, it's too high. Looks like crap. No, I think it'll be quite cute, actually. Oh, am I making the right decision here? My God, has anyone ever seen me so indecisive about a tile in my life? Good! I should just go with my gut all the time. Um, these diamonds, I mean, it's nothing like what we discussed which is constantly what happens uh, when you're renovating with Bonnie. You discuss something, you agree it, you turn up and it's changed. But I love it. And these are the gorgeous tile cloud tiles that have come up a treat. It is so old school cool. As I do, I changed my mind and it was diamond. That's Bonnie. Good job, girls. Oh, and a clad ceiling. Accent on the ceiling, of course. All right, I love the ensuite. So, I've had a bit of a squeeze on the Reese website and I literally typed in gold tapware. I can see. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. And look at this little baby here. Is it Millie? Yeah, Millie. Millie Pure. What is that? It's like a gold knob that literally hot and cold. Yeah. And it's so beautiful and just, it's like just a piece of jewellery on your wall. They yes. are gorgeous. Now that's rose gold. You mean yellow gold? Yeah, yellow, yellow, okay. yellow gold. Okay, okay. Yellow gold. <laughs> Oh wow, it looks so good. Painted. Oh my god. Well, we're growing so fast. It went up like two days ago and now it's, it's undercoat. The whole room is getting painted the softest, dirtiest yeah. pink. The master suite is absolutely beautiful. That 
panel wall. It's exactly what the room needed. It's nice to see Bonnie's done something different from cladding. <laughs> Yay, well done, Vaughn. It's gorgeous. And I absolutely love the ensuite. It's beautiful. Oh, the gold tackware. They're gorgeous. Isn't it amazing? All from yeah. Greece. Yeah. It's that, what's it called? So the that's, uh, what's it called? Progressive. Progressive mixer. Oh, yeah. But, but look how beautiful that is. Like that, that is your little handle. Yeah. The selection so that pretty. Greece has is huge. Yeah, I know. Love it. Wow, wall sconce is going up. What's going on? Now tell me, I don't see Bonnie here today. Tell me she's told you where to put them. Don't you reckon she'll still change her mind? Do you think it's a risk? She's already changed her mind. <gasps> so it's good to go. So what we're going to try to do is, so I'm just lining it up now. So just put some temporary screws in there. We're going to try to line it up. So we want to have the same gap on this side here. Yeah. And As the, the bottom. That's what she wants. So. That's what she wants. Brian. Right. Happy. They're perfect! So the gorgeous Ryan has installed our bedroom wall sconces and they look amazing. I love them. But I had a red hot tip for you. Don't always think that you have to use an internal light. These ones are called the Southampton Small Exterior Wall Sconce from Beacon. They're an external light. Like, look at this. It's like this little world. Like, look, you pop it open, open it up, change the globe. Beacon have nailed this external wall sconce. I love it. So I want this room to feel really soft and sexy. I can't even believe I'm saying that. The colours need to be muted because I'm going to add in some glam with some gold and that's what's going to pull everything together. Light, camera, action. You go a bit early. But look at this. Yeah. Look at that yeah. for darkness. And then the other way, reveal. Look at it, it's amazing, anywhere. I know, I know. look at this, look at this. Yeah. <laughs> Is that not amazing? All right, you idiot, that's enough. I always wanted to make this master retreat somewhere that was beautiful and you could escape to. So let's go and have a look inside. So the first step in making this a beautiful kind of soft boudoir and somewhere you can escape to was the colour of the walls. And what we did here was choose the Dulux eggshell quarter and then we kind of drag it through into the bed linen. You can see here, they're all soft tones. Another thing that I did just to create some interest within the room was the panelling. So it's just a normal jute rocked wall and then I got my builder to add in all this detail. What I try to do, and I do it quite often, is bring it back down to earth with some cane. And that's how you get that relaxed, glamorous feel in a bedroom. And in this private little sanctuary, you even get your own gorgeous little deck. So the walk-in robe was always going to be open. There was never going to be a door. And I do this on purpose in smaller spaces because it just gives you that flow. You don't feel closed in by tiny little rooms, which I hate. So I've used curtains here and they're hiding all the walk-in cabinetry. And the final surprise in this adult's retreat is the ensuite. So we've gone pretty damn girly in this space and we've got little pink diamonds all the way surrounding the whole entire bathroom. It's mixed in with those gorgeous golds of the tapware here. The room is very decorative. But what we've done to bring it back down to earth is add in the black. So the black is quite masculine. We've got the black sink, the black vanity, the black mirror. And I think it kind of balances this very feminine space and it just wouldn't be the ensuite it is without this absolutely huge window within this space. And it just lets in so much light. It's such a beautiful design feature and I'm gonna show you how you get your privacy. And as you can see, you can't see inside, complete privacy. The first bedroom is a reasonable size. The second bedroom, I must say, it's small. This is a very small room. 
Oh my god. Ugh. Gorgeous. Looks like we'll have a reasonable sized bathroom. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a very bold statement. Absolutely questioning myself. What's going on? Bathroom tiles we've ever done.